Hello friends, good morning and good evening everyone. Your LP here. Today I am here with uh, one more topic that is also in uh, Excel sheet only. So most of the times so for presenting the data like uh, pie charts or uh, bar charts or uh, there are different types of charts for presenting the data in the Excel sheet so, so that uh, other people can understand easily without uh, any further research. So how to make uh, different charts uh, so that's what we are going to discuss. So around uh, different varieties are there in chart type also. So which chart uh, shows best um, best application? How to change a chart type from one application to another application? I mean, uh, one particular type to another particular type. How to make it a more readable, more usable way? Uh, so these things uh, we are going to discuss today. So it's beyond pie charts, okay? It makes uh, your life easier and it simplifies easier. So do watch this video till the end, you will get better understanding. If you have any questions or comments or anything, then do comment in the comment section. I'm ready to help you. Yeah, do subscribe to this channel. Don't forget it. For example, this is what the template we are going to discuss beyond pie charts. Okay, I hope you are able to see the screen. So going beyond pie charts. So need to master pie charts because I, I discussed like uh, there are many things. There are a lot of problems also while making these pie charts. Let's discuss. So first thing is that when it, when we should use a pie chart. For example, when you need to show some uh, slices that make up a whole, in that case only, generally we will use these pie charts. And uh, generally, if you have uh, four, four figures, then, then only the pie chart is more usable because it gives good idea, quick idea. If you are having uh, more number of uh, things to show on the pie charts, generally it is not good. It makes us, uh, the audience, the viewers, confusion. Okay, so we will discuss about them later. So first try how to make pie charts. So what we can do is we need data first, some category and the values. Category with the sense the names of individual cells, individual things like Brian, Dave, Kelly, Sally. So these are the names of our sales persons and the value they contributed. So this is the value. We need two, two columns actually. So then only we are able to make uh, these things uh, very easier. No need of any formulas, nothing. By chart, I mean, the Excel automatically calculates everything in the background, the percentage and everything in the background. It will size the color for you. Everything it will do automatically. Only thing you need to fill the data in two rows and you have to use this feature. Yeah. So. What we can do is just enter the data. And one more thing important is you have to make it in a largest to smallest. Uh, you just uh, click on any one, any row, any data, just uh, sort it largest to smallest. So that the largest one is on top, smallest one is on the bottom. So that it makes easier for the pie chart to readable, like uh, in a clockwise direction. First one is a Brion, $1,100. $650, $500. Here, there is no space. That's why it went out of it. Okay. And uh, one more thing we can say is here you can see the title. Just above the values, you can keep the title also. No need to go to the cell and type it. Okay. Here itself, we can uh, try. For example, let's change this to 2022. You can see directly it is uh, reflected in the cell page also. I mean, uh, the chart also. So we can try like this, just uh, keep the two columns and enter the title above it. So it will automatically comes for us. And uh, so the arranging the, the cells also matters a lot. And uh, 12 o'clock it will start generally. And uh, rest of the things it will, uh, in clockwise direction, it will follow. Okay. And so let's start doing it. Till now we discussed it, how to do that. So first type the, so sales 2022. So let's uh, just try that like this. So here you have some guideline. 
okay so you have some guidelines you, you first you have to sort it down so right click on the numbers and uh, click uh, <coughs> start and largest to smallest uh, largest to smallest you have to do it so it will uh, it will be starting for you so like this it is uh, sorted now okay and then click on this any number and uh, go to the insert and uh, click on file here you can see different charts are available for you this entire one is charts only so just come to the pie chart okay just click on that and uh, click on this uh, 2d only so you have your chart now with you okay you can place it anywhere you can move it anywhere okay and then you can click on a uh, chart design and uh, we can uh, fill uh, different colors whatever we want okay and uh, that's it border also you can try if you need a what, what border for the outside inside and everything yeah so let's move to discuss further say this chart is ready to make it uh, even better we can directly give the labels for it in the in our chart itself we can uh, offer uh, labels so what we can do is right click on anywhere on the slice just click add a label we can click that so what it did so it, it added label to that okay so just uh, just click on anywhere otherwise uh, just click on it add label format data labels it is there you can see on right side value from cell i mean uh, any values you can display on it series name you can display on it category name you can display on it value you can display on it okay if you don't need value if you need only percentage how much percentage they did when compared to the total team they you can directly click on a percentage also show leader lines one option is there you can use that option also okay and uh, whenever you are using uh, any name like that category name like that you can use like a new name so new line actually it will go to the next line okay you can try these options and now everything is ready right so this old one whatever it is created automatically it is of no more required you can simply delete it okay yeah so like that's it guys so you can use a new line and uh, we just displayed name letters here we added names also we can add percentage also if you wish and there are many cases we need to focus particular weak area or particular strong area or particular one to develop it further so for example i want to discuss only brian so there are many things we can do here chart selection okay now all the chart color is going to change now i only choose an uh, brian so now i can uh, fill brian only like this color change option also possible for you you can choose color change rest all the things you can make it gray area which you don't want to discuss that also possible and here you can see you can de emphasize these slides uh, for example for example right click one of the slides below so you will get a format data series uh, so click on that format data series okay you have a multi multiple options for you multiple options for you you can try these options uh, so this is a uh, color related okay so you can fill uh, any one any one of these and you can also fill this format chart also solid fill like earlier we discussed the different things are available for us okay you can try that and uh, here we move to the another way some people don't like uh, the area of uh, representing complete circle so for those people we have a do not chart kind of thing only thing is middle portion we eliminated it okay only uh, it is like in between arcs the data is showing so how we can do that so same thing same data we have with us so we are going to the insert tab we are going to the charts also here here you can check it 3d 2d and do not okay just click on do not okay and uh, we can uh, move the move this to adjust to the page anywhere 
and one more thing we can do is so here like this what we can do is just click on the chart click on the chart so add labels is there so we just added the labels to our chart now okay so same way click on the chart format labels is there you can think of whenever you added names you can keep like a new line it will go to new line instead of values you can still try like percentage you can still keep like our names category name okay but we can eliminate values if you wish so these things you can try it and you can reset also if you don't wish to make it on your own you can reset it the rest of the things you can uh, delete the earlier lesson okay so for example here we have uh, something so what we can do is uh, bring it uh, for so for example so you can see it here bring it front so just move it to the here uh, like this okay this uh, graph seems uh, not good right in not a better shape you can circular you can consider 50% circle now it makes sense if it is uh, appearing good way we can try like this total is uh, we just added everything and uh, this is how uh, the chart looks like this is do not chart i hope it is also useful to you and sometimes if you have more data with you it may be very very confusing okay for example like this data is there it is not readable right it's very very difficult to read so some people will go for 3d but uh, 3d are not good actually uh, there are some issues at least a resolution or some problem distortion problems are there even though iv is here showing bigger one the front one is showing in a bigger way but practically joy who is the, who did 800 sales he is the leader actually but uh, in this if you see this figure iv shows more so i will recommend using 2d charts only don't go for 3d charts and if you have uh, many 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 charts uh, many many data it is very difficult to you to show it okay in those cases uh, you can move to the column charts instead of pie charts you can move to the column charts so i will tell you how we can use these uh, column charts so just click on anywhere okay just click on anywhere and uh, you will find a change chart change chart type so simply come to the simply come to the column here okay we have column option click on that column option so just hit okay that's it nothing no need to do anything okay everything will be taken care it's change to the sales now so already lessons were there so you can delete these uh, lessons that may not required again so that's it everything is displayed over there only first one is the biggest one who did more joy and the rest is uh, in the descending order okay it also makes sense right for reading it yeah so let's move to the another way sometimes what happens now so five slices are too similar for example you are going to give in uh, any uh, different uh, encouragement all people are simple seem, seem similar then how you can differentiate them you can differentiate them by going to the another one bar chart okay you know, there is option like bar chart it will clearly shows if you see this pie chart you can't figure who is good chill mindly and moy all seems good similar way but uh, in this the uh, bar chart moy is the good one it gives a better indication so for each application you have to consider uh, different uh, way of charts okay let's move here so this is the thing you have let's click on uh, chart and uh, change type chart type on header you can see and uh, just click on bar that's it it will automatically change to bar okay uh, here also same thing you can uh, still delete the uh, header this thing and uh, you can uh, do like a 
select data you can do any changes to your data okay you can do it any changes and uh, yeah format data labels you can do format so this is chart area okay chart area there are many many things you have to look upon series name you can keep or category name is it value you can add if you wish okay more is a 600 and uh, like this you can try guys yeah so let's move to the another variety say for example you have a sales data for the last three years how you can represent it it's difficult right for this uh, with the three charts so for those cases you can come here we have uh, roses tulips irises so for this uh, three years data is like this so what we can do is click anywhere and just go to insert just go to charts okay in columns you will find 2d like this you can try in column also you have to you have to choose a different way okay many column charts are available just go to the insert and uh, you can see column or bar chart so we are going for a column only in this column it is already shown for example first one is like a clustered column it is uh, just uh, taking more space horizontally you can see next one uh, stacked column you can take this uh, stacked column okay so what it does is it's taken uh, total as 100 percent and uh, it adjusted for example first month tulips did uh, more and this progressivity is reducing if you consider about roses he doing more when compared to first month second month he did more when compared to second month third month he did more like that we can try okay there is uh, another data it is very difficult to maintain for example you have one school or college north campus south campus east campus west campus there are two, two different businesses inside uh, b2b b2c for example let's say and uh, he, they are the representative for each division. The sales are like this. How we will represent? This is very difficult to watch, right? Of course, you can create a pie chart, but it is very difficult. So what we can do is, we will recommend uh, doing a sunburst chart. Sunburst chart is available automatically for us. Okay. So the chart makes uh, more sense. So let's, let's learn it, how to do that chart. Say for example, you have a normal pie chart here. Okay. So we will just uh, click, we will just click on somewhere and uh, we will change the chart type to sunburst. Here you have sunburst. Just click OK. It changed now. Okay. It changed it to the sun. It is like similar to do not what we did earlier. Okay. It will have a better readability now. Just add data labels. So this is how it is there. So you can see West Campus, East Campus, South Campus, North Campus. In West Campus also B2C is leading more when compared to B2B. In B2C also TI is uh, leading more when compared to others, Joy and Liz. So this is how the data is segregated. Okay, everything will start from uh, 12 o'clock and it will move to the other sides. Uh, okay, we can add data also here, format data labels. We can add uh, any, okay, we can add uh, whatever we want. Plot area, you can uh, adjust it. You can click any one and uh, format data series option is there. We have many options to explore. We can try all these options. Okay, so any one particular sl slice also we can try. So you can see it here. So that's like that we can try guys. Let's move to the another area. So you have here a different thing. For example, month wise, John, February, March, April, like that. We have different representatives who did sales. Then how to get the summary like this? For example, Eric did a total summary. You don't need to add everything on your own. It will automatically give all data to you. How you can do that? Okay, this is the data, right? So just click anywhere, go to insert. You have another option called uh, pivot chart. Just click pivot 
and uh, just uh, it is asking table range you can choose the table range and uh, just click existing worksheet it is asking location where to dump it just click here okay so it is asking yeah so just take a uh, sales and uh, eric so like this uh, the graph came okay this graph you can still uh, change it again for example you can change it to 2d okay you can change this uh, graph to ch change chart type column only you can add it to 2d so there are different options also for you to change chart type like a line you can go okay temple you can go bar chart is there horizontal way column only stacked is there clustered is there 100% 2d 3d these things uh, we can try it actually okay yeah so eric is like this but if you wish you can still go to pie chart also chart type uh, so pie chart also we can use so let's try with the pie chart so default it is 2d so like this so eric did uh, this much sales and others did uh, other uh, so we have our data points actually we can uh, change uh, other things other display here so you can see here format plot area change chart type save template data range so we can do some changes to this uh, individual also individual also you can see data labels you can it will add data labels for us okay yeah so that's it guys that's it for today thank you thanks for watching different uh, videos and uh, different uh, uh, concepts with the pie chart so if you enjoyed the content do watch this uh, my other videos also on this uh, playlist and uh, do subscribe to this channel so that uh, whenever i'm uploading videos you will get notifications you can simply click and watch it thank you bye we'll meet in another video